It's been called the foot a night vine, the mile a minute vine, and in some cases, the vine that ate the south. But Ryan Nakan reports there is a new hope when it comes to fighting kudzu, and it all started with an idea that was, well, out of this world. For almost five years now, Jacob Schindler has been researching to be a killer, and now he's an unremorseful and unashamed killer. But if I were you, I wouldn't worry too much, because what this young man is actually killing is an invasive plant that's terrorizing much of the southeast. There have been estimated miles of one kudzu plant. It all started back when Jacob was given an assignment to participate in his sixth grade science fair. And while most sixth graders are making projects about volcanoes and magnets, Jacob wanted to reclaim Mars by using kudzu. What was your first reaction? What's kudzu? <laughs> I had no idea of what kudzu was. After realizing he wasn't going to be able to hop on a rocket ship and test his theory, Jacob scaled back his project to find out what makes it nearly impossible for plants to grow on the red planet. What he found after years of research is that a gas we suck in our lungs at birthday parties literally annihilates this rapidly growing plant. I went to several locations where people had trouble with it and completely eliminated it using only the helium and this large device to drill into the ground. Wrapping down this entire plant. Jacob first started his research with a painstaking process that would take days to implement into the field. But just like any other great scientist, he reworked his application. And with the help of his neighbor, he's designed this drill that allows him to apply helium to an affected area within minutes. Next thing I know, he's coming home with this drill. Look, Mom, look what I made. And then the helium dispersed it beneath the soil and killed what used to be here, a giant kudzu plant. Now there's nothing but wall. The kudzu we saw at the locations worked by Jacob was growth from other kudzu plants over the years, not the plants he's dealt with. As you can see, this is all following off of that one major plant. And during this story, we went to several locations worked by Jacob some three years ago. And it was actually difficult to tell where he's worked because it all ends with the same result, a complete and absolute vanishing of kudzu. I got the same results, 95 to 100 percent death at each location. Without any harm to any other nearby plant species. In fact, these trees were used in one of Jacob's first tests. They actually grew taller than the controlled trees. I've had no negative results to any plants aside from the kudzu. He believes in the future his method could be used to help farmers dealing with the invasive plant. This could easily get rid of it and make it so that farmer has a higher yield and doesn't have to spend thousands of dollars on pesticides and other chemicals to get rid of it. It's a quick, effective way of getting rid of a really big problem. Now don't get Jacob wrong, he doesn't want to eliminate kudzu. He just wants to control it and have other people appreciate the plant that he's come to know so well. Feels really great to see how it's evolved from something so tiny and that's went from something so bizarre such as reclaiming Mars into something so feasible and applicable to everyday life. Isn't that the miracle of things that are on Earth and, and in the cosmos? Well, here we are with a gas that put into the soil kills kudzu. In the future, I hope to turn this into an agribusiness proficiency for FFA where I'll take the drill and go to locations where for a small fee I'll begin the elimination of the kudzu just by administering the helium through my device. A dream that once started way out in Mars, but now just needs a little more help to get off the ground. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockham.